Yes, Muhammad. Uh, yes, hi, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. What do you want to say to us, Muhammad? The the hadith that you have explained, uh, that you showed on the screen about uh, that that people who didn't commit sin, that Allah will sweep out of the existence and mm. replace people with who commit sin, mm. that Allah will forgive them. Okay. Is kind of unethical. Uh, it's kind of a little bit evil. It's evil, right? I've, okay. Well, so what do you think? What we should do now? Should you leave Islam? Bar is the is that I um, I'm living in a, in a Muslim land. But you are convinced. You are convinced that this is this is Islam is not right for you or not yet. Can you convince me a little bit more? What is holding you? Like, give me give me what is like what is you think? Because I don't know what is making you st still believe in Islam to be a religion. You know, I'm looking at your text. And in your text, you says, "Can you convince yes. me to be Christian mm -hmm. if the Prophet Muhammad is false?" Right? Yeah. yeah if yeah, you accept I, the challenge, if you accept the mm -hmm. challenge, I pro I will promise you to become a Christian if you answer me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But do you think still Muhammad is a is a prophet? Yeah. Before we can go and speak some about something else, do you think Muhammad is a prophet? To be honest with you, and in, in my view. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I think a prophet should uh, should not uh, say to commit violence against other people's faith, even if they were Jews or uh, Jews, Christians, and polytheists. Okay, it's not convincing. Ah. What about uh, what what additional to that? What do you think about Muhammad saying like the Quran saying stupid things like the the, the sperm come from the ribs of the women and come from the backbone of the man? Do you think that God should be stupid too? Yeah, that the the ayah that you're referring, the surah al the uh, 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 the sexual fluid that comes out between the ribs, yeah, is kind of uh, misleading. It's stupid, right? It is. It is. Uh, it, is it is. It's not even correct uh, idea. Even though that means we have to cut off our testicles, you know, uh, to believe in that idea. Yeah. Uh, so now, what is stopping you from? From saying I am leaving out of Islam, you said to me you need to convince me more. Here we go. You agree that the Quran is a stupid book, and Muhammad he have a have a bad teaching. So what is left? Um, I, I, I also want to ask you about uh, when you explained about uh, about uh, a concept that uh, that, uh, that, the, uh, that the Prophet he uh, attacked caravans and everything. Hmm. And saying that uh, if, uh, uh, when he tried to convince other guys to go to uh, go war against the Romans, mm -hmm. was it true? Yeah, you know I can show it to you. you I, I I noticed that you are pronouncing an Arabic names correctly. That means you are an Arab, correct? Uh, I'm African, but raised in the Muslim land. Oh, okay. Parents. So, you, but you speak Arabic. You know Arabic. Do you know how to read Arabic? Yeah. Do you know how to read Arabic? English would be preferable, you know. Well, uh, because you see, in order to show you this, this is all written in Arabic, you know. Uh, all right, I'll give it a try. Okay. Uh, let me find you the reference. No problem. Take your time. Let me take us a few seconds. Okay.
All right, we have it in front of us. We will show it to you in the screen. Mm -hmm. And okay, no. we will see together what is that is about. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. All right. This is Tafsir al qurtu al Tabari. Okay. I'm showing the screen. And this is the book cover. Jam al Bayan and Tawili Ayatu Quran. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing back. Yeah, I'm seeing number, The value number four, four, uh, 14. Mm -hmm. And here you see, we will see the following. Yes. Let's go down. It says here, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يوم وهو في جهازه للجد بن قيس أخي بني سلمة هلك يا جد العام في في جد من الأصفر فقال يا رسول الله أو تأذن لي وتفتني والله لقد عرف قومي ما رجل أشد عجبا بالنساء مني وإني أخشى إني إن رأيت نساء بني الأصفر لا أصبرن عنه عنهن فأرد عنه رسول الله etc. And he said to him, I, 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 I have no problem with that. And then look what he says. Mm -hmm. uh, let us see. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اغزو تبوك تغنبو بنات الأصفر It says, yeah, uh, go attack Rome uh, and you get the blondie girls and uh, women of Rome. Right. Byzantine. So attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tabuk. At that time, the Roman, they were in Tabuk. Yes. And you will get the blondie girls of the Roman. And then a judge, he said to him, Don't seduce us and tempt us by women. And that verse was made about this guy and the Quran calling him hypocrite because he is using this as an excuse. <laughs> so if you are a person who says, I don't want to go for war just to get the blondie girls, don't seduce us to go to war just because of women. You are a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Yes, just the, the problem is a uh, prophet God should not say such slander. So should not say those kind of things yeah. at all. And I see this is the number of the hadith here, hadith number one six seven eight five in the front of us, and this is official Islamic website. Yeah, I know Tabari. It's a one no scholar. And he repeated here in the hadith number one six seven eight six. Says, yes, had the final cosm, had the final Hussein, had the final Hajjaj and Jurage, and Mujahid Kalu, Kala Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Irzut and Tarnabu Batal Asfar, Yan in Isa Arum, Thumma the Karamith Lahu. And then this is why later Ibn, Ibn Qaisi said to him, Well, I, I know I cannot really handle this, you know, don't, don't, I don't want to go for a war for such a reason. So what kind of a prophet he is? What else, my friend, is keeping you as a Muslim? Give me. You, uh, also, you uh, I couldn't also believe when when you when you. No, no. I want you, I want you to tell me what is keeping you as a Muslim now. Forget about things which is negative about Islam. Is there something positive still keeping you as a Muslim? Salah, Salah, no. Okay, so why you don't say I am out of Islam right now? Well, uh, because of uh, family, that's why. Okay, well, family, family, I mean, uh, what, what you want? Okay, I, I will stay, with, I don't want to insult you, but yeah. I, I, I should stay uh, believing in stupid belief just because of family? I mean, if my family decide to follow stupid thing, this is their business. I'm not going to follow stupidity because of a family. I'm not a Christian because my family are Christians. I will never do that. 
Ja. You want your children to follow your, you too? Because now you are going to hurt your children. One day you will have a family if you don't have yet. And you have mm -hmm. children. And then they will say, okay, because my father is a Muslim, I have to be a Muslim. Do you want that, your children? So I, uh, I don't want, I don't want them to... Uh, okay, denounce them Islam, my friend. Denounce Islam. Say I am out of it. I'm out of the Islam. All right. That's wonderful. We are very happy for you, my friend. So uh, uh, our friend Muhammad is out of Islam and now you know for me as a Christian I have my duty to invite you my duty with love not a duty because it's a job my duty yeah. of love to invite people to what is right what do you think about accepting Christ as your savior because when I when, when one of my friends who's a, a, pre, a preacher uh, who's a Christian when he when he talked about the gospel Okay. That Christ wasn't, uh, he was completely opposite of Muhammad. Yeah, but do you accept Jesus as your savior? Is there something preventing you from accepting him to be your savior? I, I accept God of Yahweh as my savior. That's wonderful, my friend. So you accept the Messiah, the Christ, as your salvation. Yes. Do you yes. believe that he crucified in the cross? Yes, he died for all of us, just for, I mean to uh, that. to forgive our sin. I mean to that. I'm really surprised that you were challenging me, and now you are like you are ready to go. <laughs> I'm, uh, reading, I'm reading your text. I'm reading your text. You were challenging me to prove to you, but look like you are convinced already. I mean, that's wonderful. Look like the Lord. He spoke to the Lord. He spoke to you in His own way. Because uh, when I, I I watched your your videos, like since I believe Christmas holiday. Right. And when I learned, when I watched one of your videos, I couldn't believe what you were saying it. And then right. it opened my eyes. The reference are the same. That's wonderful. No fabrication. That's wonderful. The Lord, He changed. Actually, you are not the first one who was saying to me in text, I challenge you, I will debate you, etc. And then uh, what happened is totally the opposite. So we are really happy for you. We praise mm -hmm. the Lord that He sent us, uh, uh, send me in your way and send you in my way. And mm -hmm. I'm sure, like, if you look at the text, a lot of people, they are very happy for you that you decide to accept the Messiah. Now, you know, uh, uh, as long as you decide to accept the Messiah, my friend, um, I'm not sure what country you are in, but if you like, you yes. can send me a private message, and we can see if we can find you some Christians to meet with them, and, mm -hmm. they, you know, so you can get the baptism. Because, you know, baptism, yeah. baptism is not just, uh, you know, like, we don't do what Muslims do. It's like a ritual uh, stuff, uh, uh, you know, like kissing black stone. Baptism yes. is is you know receiving the Holy Spirit and announcing yourself in the front of the Lord that you are being a person who believe in the Messiah and accepting yes. Him, and the Holy Spirit will be within you uh, mm -hmm. until the judgment day and even after. So yes. uh, if you if you need many many uh, like I don't know if you have uh, Christians around you. You said you have a Christian preacher. Yeah, friend? I, I yeah, I have a friend. Okay, maybe you can contact him and he can help you in that in that issue, as long as you yes. trust him, right? Yeah, I, I trust him. I trust him in my life. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, my friend, yes. I'm very happy for you. If you have any friends who they are Muslims, they want to talk to me. They want to call me. Uh, feel yes. free. And uh, but remember now, after you be accept the Messiah, we cannot live the same as we used to live as pagan Muslims. Yeah, I know. I we agree. stay away from paganism. We stay away from muta. Marriage is not for uh, <laughs> marriage is not for muta. Marriage yeah, is a relationship. <laughs> yeah, marriage is not really for sex and having four goats at home. You have to have a lady, and she is your wife and she is your partner, not a goat. So mm -hmm. Christianity teaches different value. So everything you have from the previous cult, mm -hmm. Islam, we have to throw it away, and we have to wash our hands from it. And we have to live a new life, which is holy life with the Messiah. Yes, uh, you're, you're right. Just uh, want to ask you about what is the guidance of Christ? Well, you know, you, you see that the, the Lord, he gave us a lot of uh, amazing uh, teaching. And mm -hmm. any page you read in the Bible, it is, it is really a wonderful guidance. But I will give you uh, something easy. Uh, you see, I found the Messiah, one of the wonderful things about him, uh, you do not need to be a scholar mm. 
to understand him and to be let us say uh, going in the right track as an example one sentence Jesus he said from their fruits you shall know them okay now look at this people can give you speeches I can give you speeches about how wonderful Christianity is etc but maybe I am a guy who is a drug dealer so people they say things but they do but, but they do different thing mm -hmm. in order yes, to yes. know really what is the wisdom is learn from the Messiah from their fruit you shall know them and the fruit is really what the Lord he judge you with is not your speeches so Jesus he said you shall know them by their fruits and by saying that he explained to you actually let me let me play uh, uh, an audio from the Bible so all of us we enjoy this occasion that you accept the Messiah and you will notice right away the huge difference between Christianity and Islam Islam is nothing but a cult teaching yeah. stupid mm -hmm. things there's no meaning the Quran have no meaning no value and yeah. you can live without it better life Matthew 7 let us see. judge not that ye be not judged for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? For how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye give not that which is holy unto the dogs neither cast ye your pearls before swine lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you every one that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly, they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the
the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. I mean, so as you see, my friend, one chapter, one verse from the words of the Messiah, it's so amazing and it's going to fulfill the wisdom you need in your life. So you go with Christ and mm -hmm. you judge things by the fruits, not by the words. People, they might say that they are Christians, but they might be false. People, mm -hmm. they might say they are worshiping God, but they can be a false prophet. Be aware of false prophets which come to you in a sheep clothing, but they are wolves. So, my mm -hmm. friend, uh, uh, I advise you to read this chapter carefully and to study it. And not mm -hmm. only that will inspire you about how you can live your life. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. I mean, uh, reading one chapter of this uh, chapter, Matthew 7, it's like you did read you 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 are a person who went to uh, to study wisdom and you came back and you 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 came became full of wisdom because every line is is a guidance for life. So, not to be hypocrite, you see yeah. see the thing in your eye before you see it's a son, the things in the eye of others. How to treat mm -hmm. people is not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father. And by the way, the Muslim that might say to you in the future, you became a Christian. Can you show me one place where Jesus says, I am God, worship me? Right? They will say that to you, right? It's in front of you in chapter 7 in Matthew. Many they will say to me at that day, that day, what day? The, the day of judgment. Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? People prophesy in the name of God, right? Yeah. Not in the name of prophet. And they will call yeah. him what? They yeah. will call him God, God, Jehovah, Jehovah. So they will call yeah. him in that day. Many they will call me Jehovah. And mm -hmm. we we will say, didn't we say we prophesied in your name? He will say yeah. to them, stay away from me. And why is that? Because simply they were hypocrite. They were worshiping the Lord by their lips, but in their heart they were working for their own glory. So this, this chapter alone can provide you with a lot of guidance, stability, understanding, uh, fulfillment of, of a spirit, uh, confidence. And the same time can give you answer for Muslims who ask you how you worship Jesus, how he is God, where he, where he said, I'm God, worship me. All right? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Even even though I, I knew that Christ would, would never hurt a fly. Yeah, well, it's not about, you see, no, the, the, the uh, by the way, in the judgment day, yeah, everybody will pay uh, the penalty. This is justice. Right. Yeah, that's true. People who they, they go around and rape and kill and slaughter and etc. Everybody will pay for his crimes, uh, and that is justice will be done. This is why Jesus said, "The one who die, who uh, who uh, who live by the sword, he will die by the sword." Which means, if you make your the sword your lifestyle, judgment will be upon you. The same as you kill, you will be killed. So, I advise you to read this chapter again carefully. And mm. in, in a spiritual way, not just uh, plain words and letters, you know, it's yeah. very, very beautiful. Mm. And if you have any question for me in the future, please let me know. I will be happy to answer you. Yeah. Uh, I wish, I, I hope the God of Yahweh can forgive me for what I have done to Christians and Jews. My friend, the God is our God, Yahweh. And the God of the Christians is our, uh, 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 is our God. And he is mm. the only God. And he always forgave those. Even Paul, he used to go after Christian. So you are not... You know, you will not be worse than Paul. Paul himself, he used to go after mm -hmm. Christians to kill them. So don't yeah. don't worry about it. Thank you, my friend, for calling, and may the Lord bless you. And I will ask mm -hmm. everybody here to pray for you and your family for better life and guidance, and you might bring more and more Muslims out of Islam so you become a fisherman who brings people to, to Christ and you <laughs> save them from the evil of Islam. All right? All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you uh, answering me. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Take care. You too. Bye -bye. God bless. God bless. All right. You know, it's it's really uh, strange how how. Uh, I want to show you his text. I want to show you his text. Uh, just to show you how people they are. Uh, <laughs> 
I mean, how how the Lord changed the life of people. CP, can you convince me to be Christian if the Prophet Muhammad is false? If you accept the challenge, I will promise to become a Christian if you answer me. And I think the, the Lord himself, he answered you, my friend, is not me.